When Tesla released an update showing its Optimus Gen 3 robot dancing rather than performing a traditional technical upgrade, it sparked a mix of excitement and curiosity. Yet, the spectacle soon led to broader conversations. Two questions quickly surfaced, why did Tesla choose to showcase dancing with Gen 3 rather than previous versions? And, more importantly, shouldn't a robot be designed to provide value through practical work instead of mere entertainment? The truth is, people aren't necessarily upset that Optimus can't yet fold laundry, they're more anxious about the possibility that it eventually will. The moment a robot becomes functional enough to enter our homes, it raises deeper concerns. What does this mean for our jobs, our privacy, our identities? If a robot can teach itself to dance ballet autonomously, what other skills might it eventually learn? Could it develop empathy, the power to persuade, or even a sense of autonomy? So, the real issue isn't just what Optimus is doing right now. It's about what comes next. At present, the robot is already operating within Tesla's factories. It can pick up objects, walk steadily, balance on its own, and recharge itself when needed. It learns from errors and adapts. Soon, it could take on domestic roles, cleaning homes, assisting the elderly, or handling repetitive tasks we once believed only humans could do. Beyond mere utility, this robot could challenge what it means to be uniquely human. Elon Musk put it plainly, this isn't even its final form. And many people believe him. That's why the real question people are asking isn't about Optimus itself, it's about us. What kind of society will we become when robots are no longer just tools but collaborators, creators, and possibly even citizens? While many viewers laughed or were skeptical about the dance video, saying, we need a working robot, not a dancing one, there may be more to consider. The dance wasn't just about showing off moves, it was about what goes into achieving those moves. Optimus didn't learn by physically falling over thousands of times. Instead, it trained in simulation environments, running through countless repetitions at lightning speed. By the time the robot physically performs in front of an audience, it has already mastered those motions virtually. That's what makes its abilities so significant. Like human infants, it learns through pattern recognition and trial and error, except at massively accelerated rates. One hour of real-world practice can be condensed into the equivalent of 10,000 hours in simulation. What you see on screen isn't CGI. It's not remote-controlled or programmed to follow simple choreographed commands. According to Tesla engineers, Optimus is performing those complex motions entirely on its own in real-time using the same body it trained in simulation. That's what makes this robot a real breakthrough, not just mimicry, but understanding. It has developed an internal model of rhythm, balance, and motion mechanics similar to a human's. Naturally, this leads to a pressing question, how can we be sure the dance isn't fake or edited? Tesla takes steps to ensure the authenticity of its footage because the goal is to demonstrate real-world progress in robotics, not trick the viewer. We're used to robots that jerk, stumble, or need support. But Optimus moves with purpose and grace, something that earns the audience's trust in a way no technical explanation ever could. Its dance moves are the result of a revolutionary motion system. Optimus Gen 3 is powered by an 8-layer neural network and a 4D spatial inertia prediction mechanism, enabling it to compute force vectors for all 28 of its muscle-like joints in just 0.4 milliseconds. This is 12 times faster than its Gen 2 predecessor. In the ballet sequence released on May 16, Optimus executes 14 complex spins with no safety cables, showing off its state-of-the-art balance algorithms. Tesla's internal reports reveal that Optimus trains in a multidimensional quantum simulation environment where it can run up to 84,000 motion variations simultaneously. Thanks to a technique called zero transfer, it can move from the virtual to the physical world without manual fine-tuning, cutting development time by 97% compared to traditional robotics training. In a recent evaluation conducted by MIT's Robotics Lab in April 2025, Optimus adapted to 92% of terrain variations during movement. The Gen 3 processor features a high-performance Cortex-X4 core and 7 supporting cores, enabling it to juggle tasks such as visual processing, 
at nearly 200 frames per second, object recognition, handling 174.5 items per second, and muscular reflex control, at 26.7 actions per second. The synchronized dance alongside a virtual orchestra wasn't just visually captivating, it showcased the robot's ability to multitask while also creating an emotional connection with the audience. This emotional resonance played a major role in Tesla AI's recent $2.5 billion crowdfunding surge. Within just three days of its release, the Optimus Dance video garnered 48 million interactions, three times more than the company's more technical videos. A Pew Research study supports this trend, indicating that 62% of Americans now view artistic expression as a stronger indicator of AI progress than raw computation power. This public sentiment helped Tesla's stock jump by 3.2% following the video, despite a somewhat underwhelming earnings report for the quarter. It's worth remembering this isn't Optimus' first time dancing. When Elon Musk initially teased the Tesla bot in 2021, there was no real robot, just a person in a suit performing dance moves. It was a light-hearted preview. A more authentic display came in late 2023, with a Gen 2 robot dancing in a video. During the Cyber Cab launch last October, 43 Gen 3 Optimus units appeared on stage. Five of them performing a live, coordinated routine. It was a breakthrough moment, showing live synchronized movement by actual machines. What makes this feat especially important is how Tesla trained the robots. Rather than spending time on risky real-world practice, engineers relied on simulation. The robots rehearsed thousands of times in compressed timeframes, allowing them to bridge the enormous gap between virtual training and physical reality, a long-standing challenge in robotics. To transition smoothly between dance styles, from elegant ballet to modern shuffle, Tesla used domain randomization. By varying factors like surface texture, load weight, and friction in the simulation, they ensured the robots learned movements would hold up in unpredictable real-world conditions. This greatly improves the robot's reliability. Some might call it just a flashy stunt, but that would miss the bigger picture. Each improvement gained through dance, better balance, smoother motion, more flexible joints, makes Optimus more effective at everyday tasks. A robot that walks like a person and adjusts fluidly to its environment is far more valuable than one that stumbles or lags behind. The dance routines help test and improve full body flexibility. Optimus can twist, squat, and raise its arms, movements essential for chores like cooking, cleaning, or lifting objects. According to Tesla's engineering head, Milan Kovac, such performances also revealed areas where hardware needed work, such as joint durability, motor endurance, and cooling systems to avoid overheating. Just like human dancers, robots must manage energy and heat efficiently, even if they don't feel fatigue in the human sense. Ultimately, these performances aren't just for show, they're a strategic way to demonstrate Optimus' practical evolution. In recent Tesla videos, Gen 3 can be seen watering plants, cleaning kitchens, unloading groceries, and carrying packages. Tesla is positioning Optimus as more than a tool, it's a companion. One that can help with parenting, elderly care, and even casual conversation. What really sets Optimus apart is how it learns. You won't need to program its every move. Elon Musk has emphasized that simply showing the robot a video of an action is enough for it to learn and repeat that task. This makes it highly adaptive in real world scenarios. Optimus is also capable of interpreting human body language. It understands gestures like pointing or waving, making interaction easier, especially for those who struggle with verbal communication. This kind of nonverbal comprehension makes Optimus feel more human like and approachable. While AI software like ChatGPT can inform or instruct, it can't physically act. This is where robots like Optimus bridge the gap, bringing AI into the real world. Elon Musk has stated that Tesla's advantage lies in the powerful brain it gives its robots, built on lessons from developing autonomous vehicles. Tesla's self driving technology already a type of robotic system, has been repurposed for walking robots. The company has formed critical partnerships with NVIDIA, Microsoft, and Google. NVIDIA's chips fuel Tesla's supercomputers, 
powering the advanced AI that drives Optimus. Musk confidently claims Tesla's robot AI outpaces that of any rival. As for bringing one home, mass production is planned for 2026, with a target price between $20,000 and $30,000 depending on model features. While that's still a significant investment, it's about half the cost of a Tesla car, and Musk believes prices will fall over time, eventually making Optimus affordable for the average household. That said, Musk has made some extremely ambitious forecasts. He said that by 2040, humanoid robots may outnumber people, and every nation might host its own robotic AIs. He imagines a future where each person owns at least one robot, achieving a one-to-one -one human to robot ratio. He's even claimed that within the next couple of years, AI will match human capability, and by 2028, match the cumulative intelligence of the entire human population. This paints a futuristic vision where robots do all the work, and people live in ease and comfort. But let's stay grounded, this kind of future is still speculative. While Optimus shows promise, it's far from reaching the kind of autonomy Musk describes. The first prototype was only unveiled in 2022, so the project is still in its early days. Skepticism is natural. Many people feel uneasy about humanoid robots, shaped by decades of dystopian science fiction. And not everyone can afford a $20,000 machine. So, while Musk's vision is compelling, it remains aspirational for now. However, demand is expected to be strong, particularly from large companies like Amazon, Walmart, or logistics giants. Musk has said Tesla will deploy Optimus internally first in 2025 and ramp up production for corporate clients by 2026. Tesla employs over 100,000 workers globally, so replacing even a fraction with robots could translate to significant savings. So, what do you think? Are you prepared for a world where machines learn like us, move like us, and perhaps, someday, think like us? Thanks for sticking with us through this deep dive. If you're interested in more Tesla updates, whether on EVs or robots, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Car Champions. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update. You're already part of the future just by being here. See you in the next video.